submit to the spirit, spirit to the matter. matter. Our celestial humanity arrives, awake, awake in the dream. dream. An inception of our reality. reality. So we so live. live, we love. We love. Face face dance dance some 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 the some 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 the brother some 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 Imagination becomes the sound of thought, traveling at the speed of the heart. So we paint paint on the canvas of our ephemeral countenance. A mathematic memory that lives in the eternity of a child child. Talk about, uh, Generational music, keeping to the theme planet Earth, life on planet Earth, what I've learned so far. I'm going to talk about generational music and uh, the generational controversies as far as the different uh, cultural uh, and uh, colloquialisms and whatnot. Um, really, you get with roots and culture. Uh, if we get back to roots and culture, um, you really see what music was about. You get into African systems and all the systems of the world. Each culture has their brand of music and art. And, Poetry, some of it is not art, but spirituality, you know, but we call it art and it's actually connected to spiritual systems, you know, some people mis- mis- mistakenly uh, call them idol worshipers or whatever, and it's not that, you know, a lot of cultures just have symbolisms for things and it's not an idol, you know, an idol is actually dependent on a thing to do something for you. That's not animate, you know. But uh, I ain't even going to get into all that. But roots and culture as far as music, uh, the generational music. Uh, you study the 20th century, it pretty much has shaped most of our lives that's still living, you know, uh, somewhere along the lines, you know, your your uh, grandparents, your great-grandparents, uh, your great-great-grandparents, and some of them great-great-great-great-great-grandparents, you know. The music they listen to uh, shaped the world in which, which you were born. Uh, um, and... Uh, It's uh, necessary. Uh, I, I I I use a lot of digital uh, music tools and whatnot uh, now, and uh, software systems and whatnot to make music, and that's okay. But you need to have some kind of celestial instrument, whether it be a trumpet, saxophone, flute. Kungas, something, something celestial um, to accentuate the real feel of the organic spirit uh, of 
what music is about. I would say incorporated with with the digital and uh, and and and, and uh, see what you come up with. That's what that's what you need to do. That's what I've done anyway. Put a lot of the celestial instruments with uh, computer generated or software generated digital audio workstations and stuff like that. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going towards that. But see, none of this stuff is new. Even the computers, they, they had all this stuff back eons ago, man. None of this stuff is new. We just rehashing uh, what's already been done, you know. So, uh, you know, we all uh, enjoy music. And uh, the generations always, uh, the ones before always some kind of way don't like the one after uh, with their music you know they didn't like our hip hop a lot of people didn't like the music before us you know but uh, it, it, those that brought the music to the forefront of that generation of course we love it and then those of us who really appreciate true music and know the roots of where the music came from and culture, we appreciate all of it. You know, now, when it comes to the negativity and the toxicity of, of the uh, industry and the hateration in the music and stuff like that, I understand people telling their story and where they're in the streets and stuff like that and, just telling the stories of what they did with a lot of the rap and stuff now, but you know, toxic stuff. Whatever you put out, that's what you're gonna get back. I put it like that. Whatever you put out, that's what you're gonna get back. So, uh, I, uh, I just think that if you engage in, uh, a study of music, uh, you'll get a lot of insight into why things are the way they are. Uh, a lot of the lyrics of the songs in the past let you know a lot of things, a lot of the instrumentals, uh, jazz instrumentals, classical instrumentals, and otherwise will let you know uh, where the spirit of the people was or that era, that group or whatever, what happened. And uh, the controversy comes in based off of, you know, what kind of stuff they were doing, you know. Some of them were off into drugs and substances and stuff like that. But uh, the music, the end result of what was produced and how it affects you is uh, whether or not, let, will let you know whether or not it's good for you or not, you know, so... That's uh, that's what all I gotta say about that. Now, when it comes to cosmic instruments, you know, gongs and singing bowls and stuff like that, all those are healing tools, tools that are on the frequency of 528, 432, and other frequencies and whatnot uh, for healing and uh, elevating the consciousness and the spirit, you know, uh, there's no controversy there. Uh, there's healing and elevation and uh, inspiration uh, in those types of uh, uh, instruments with the cosmic instruments. You should study all music. See what uh, the history is. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn a whole lot. Studying music is really studying the cosmos. And uh, you understand how things were formed and created and how you were formed and created. There's music in the spark of the germ and the seed of every man and woman 
when you when that C hit that egg, it was music. It was a note that was played that uh, broke the wall, you know, uh, 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 the membrane, you know. It's a note that was played, you know. So um, it's a lot of stuff you 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 can get into and learn if you study music. So, um, and so I had that. Now, as far as I struggle, uh, you can uh, get into uh, opera or study Negro spirituals to find out what kind of stuff the, the ancestors was dealing with. When they did music. Yeah, you study music, you go back to the spirituality of it. You know, the church, early church, early Negro spirituals, and uh, early music that black folks made as a, as a refuge to get away from the treatment they was dealing with, and uh, used it for signals and stuff like that to signal which way to go the Underground Railroad and stuff like that, you know. Uh, there's a lot of different scientific things that black folks use with music, and uh, there's a lot of different things that other people use music for other than just entertainment. Music is, uh, is a key. And like uh, my brother Malik said, music is life, you know. A lot of I'll say this here, you know. A lot of people have uh, the idiosyncrasies and toxic thought processes about different things and whatnot. You know, uh, a lot of music uh, I don't like. Like I don't like sad love songs because you don't realize what kind of effect that produces when you put it out there like that. But then it brings healing to some folks. You know, I, I, I just personally don't like sad love songs because it promotes depression and melancholy. You know, uh, and you can spiral down if you're not strong. You know, I know it releases uh, pressure and uh, gives people an outlet to heal and cry or whatever, what have you. But if you feeding off of that stuff all the time, it's going to shape your mind and to think a particular way and act a particular way all the time. Now, you get through a bad relationship, you listen to some bad, sad love song, next thing you know, you giving up on the whole situation uh, of love and judging everybody in blanket statements and, you know next person come along may have a grand opportunity for you to heal and you uh, look at that like oh no nah, I listen to this song and I know you ain't gonna be no good either cause all of y'all are, you know that's, 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 that's what that stuff promotes you know just like toxic people uh, folks can't let somebody uh, you know, I had, I, I've experienced in the community uh, the toxicity of ignorance. You know, the toxicity of ignorance where uh, people have passed away. They wouldn't, they didn't want nobody, they, they wouldn't allow people, certain people to come to the funeral uh, uh, of, the, of the deceased. Because, you know, I'm like, wow, you know, that was, that was one thing. And then this posthumous hateration and toxicity still being spread by the other people. You know, and I'm like, wow, you know, uh, it's just uh, people don't know how to live and don't know how to think. And you study their history and what they're into. You know, I think of First Corinthians uh, 13, 11, you know, when I was a child, I lived as, you know, I, I thought as a child, 
I spoke as a child, but when I became a man, I put away with childish things. Some people haven't put away with childish things, so that's why they act the way they do. So, even even growing with kids, you know. But, uh, and I'm not knocking, you know, how nobody live their life. I'm just saying the principle of it, you know. The childishness of toxicity and hateration and all this stuff, you know. You If you're getting your... If you get your your uh, philosophy of life, uh, I, I ain't even gonna get into it because I could break it all the way down. You know, I could break it all the way down, but you know, I just let that go. But uh, it's 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 a shame that uh, with music, art, and poetry, we can't take these things and uh, elevate the consciousness of, of, of humanity. We, we always get involved with it and do beautiful things, but then all of a sudden we turn it around and it's something toxic. And it's, you know, next thing you know, like, you looking at I'm looking at the industry, everybody in court, everybody fighting with each other, everybody talking about this person and that person, all this kind of stuff and you know that's not what music is supposed to do. Music is supposed to inspire as my my sister say. Uh, you know uh, if it's not inspiring, what's it doing? If it's not inspiring, what's it doing? And why are you using it? Why are you listening to that? If it's not inspiring, you know. And I'm not hating on nobody's art. I'm just saying, if it's not inspiring me, I won't engage in it. You know, and I'm not trying to get everybody to listen to my music, whatever. You may think, oh, he always posts it. That's for me. My Facebook page, Instagram, all that stuff, that's extra storage space for me. That's what I use it for. I can give a good goddamn less, really, if somebody else like it or whatever. If they do and they say some comments, I try to give them a like or, or appreciate the comment or whatever, but I'm not doing it for that. Storage space, and I'm facing my book. Storage space. That's all that stuff is. You know, because they want to charge you arm and leg for extra storage space. And they don't want to give you enough space that you need, even when you're willing to pay for it. And it's just a scam all the way around. Creative people don't never have enough space to do nothing. Not the kind of creative people I know. You know, so. But, uh. Spoken word, what you put out there, you can't take it back. You can't take it back. You can delete it, but it's out in the universe already. You know. So be careful and mindful of what you say and how you speak. That goes for me as well. You know, I, I spit fire on my page a lot when I was talking about but it all dealt with true stuff you know and all of them are falling now Elon all of them I was going in on them it's like now nah, they just what okay you don't have the best interest you don't have the best humanity in your best interest you are going to fail. If you don't have the collective of the people in your best interest, you are going to fail. I don't care how successful you are. You know, if you're not putting positive images out there and positive messages to foment uh, growth in the mind, something challenging to the mind, 
then you're not, you're going to fail. You're just working for the devil. Flat out. So, that's all I got to say about that. But, uh, generational music and generational controversy, we can avoid all of that stuff. Uh, the, the, the negativity by promoting positive images and vibrations and words. <laughs>